great cricketers. Wonderful ovation for Glenn McGrath, Shane Warne and Justin Langer. Scoreline achieved only once by Australia. Very emotional time here for Justin Langer, understandably so. At the end of a very good career, part of a great team, one of the best teams ever, you think. Averages 21. Started his career living in a caravan to get a spot in the New South Wales team, come down from the bush. He's still a bushy, but he's a great fast bowler as well. Oh, look, it's been fantastic to play with this group of guys, and uh, I'm sure that everyone's uh, been entertained by the way the guys have played. And, um, you know, to, to finish off the way we have today, 5 0, is uh, a sensational way to do it. Push is looking for two, and he'll get it. He'll come back hard. Back it comes. Miss Field again. They go for three. There he goes. A special moment at the Sydney Cricket Ground, a standing ovation. We've never seen it before here. Superb opening stand of 122 and Warner as 100 mud out. Great moment for Test Cricket. Oh, that's ripped into the gloves. Off a length. I, I think that could well be broken. No, he's tough. That's a left-hand fracture of the fifth metacarpal. Doesn't require surgery, but it does require a six-week recovery. Graham Smith is coming out to bat. A series that has gripped us from first to last continues to do so. The drama is by no means done. This is a mighty figure. The broken hand is bottom hand. Well played. Very well played. It will hurt. Oh, he did it! Mitchell Johnson's done it! No single player has more respect than this man, Graham Smith. Glenn McGrath, the last Australian batsman coming into the crease with the score under 250. Ricky Ponding's not too disappointed with that score. 250, not bad, but he needs some runs out of McGrath and Hussey now. Hussey drives and he finds the gap. Charge, good shot, over cover, good use of the feet. That's a wonderful strike, and it's very big too. Oh, this is some innings from Michael Hussey. A hundred for Michael Hussey, and a magnificent hundred it is too. And there they come, the two of them, uh, off the ground, and uh, everyone was on their feet. Hussey will be feeling very happy about that. Wonderful performance. That's out. That's 299 test wickets for McGrath. Gone! He's dropped him into He's out. First ball, Glenn McGrath. There's 300. The perfect scenario. It's out! Straight up in the air, and that's a hat-trick. Well, he wasn't on 300 test wickets for long, Glenn McGrath. Just an absolute peach by Ryan Harris. Oh. He's really gone for that one. There's a chance in the outfield. Oh, and what a very good catch. That's a terrific catch there. Glenn McGrath, he is a good outfielder. But he had to go a long way to get there. But the, the really good part of the work was when he dived and still hung on to the ball. she goes. Is it enough? Yes it is! Elise Perry brings up her 200 in style. And I think Sarah Taylor's saying, did it actually go all the way? Have you celebrated a little bit earlier? As we kind of look in. No, it's four! It's four and she celebrated! Can you believe it? Driven down. She's taking off. She's done it. She's done it for a second time. He 
is she going to celebrate the first time just as much as the first time? No. She just puts the bat up and relief for Elise Perry. The first ball, the first test match. Whoa, wide delivery, taking a slip by the skipper. The nerves are showing already. Well, when Mark Nicholas asked me, was I nervous in the com box uh, just about 20 minutes ago, I said, not as nervous as the guy will be who's running up the ball the first ball. And now it's the second. <laughs> He's going to be petrified now. They might need four slips to catch this. It can happen. I remember Graham McKenzie saying to me once, when he bowled a delivery like that, we're nervous as well as the batsman. Goes for it. There's a man out there who's getting under it. And he's got it. And Shane Warne tragically finishes on 99. The crowd going off. There's the 300 for Matthew Hayden. Direct hit. He's happy that he's home though. And he's just the second man to make a triple century in Test cricket in Australia. Leg stump, that'll do it! What a wonderful shot to bring it up on as well. What a moment for Michael Clark. Not just as a player, but as a captain. Pulls it away hard on the leg side. Times the ball well, it races out towards the rope. Incredible from David Warner. 300. A history-making innings at the Oval. He loves it. The crowd loves it. David Warner. Ishan Sharma. He comes yeah. down. Oh, that's it! That's it! Nathan Lyon gets seven. What a performance! They've won by 48 runs. It has been a stunning test match. Well, he's done it. And he's done it in grand style with a boundary. Well done, Glenn McGrath. First ever half century in test cricket. Oh, God, he's got it. He's on edge, was it? Yes, he's got 50. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> and they're loving it. Don't go before acceptance. Just pick up the line first. Yes. Yes. God, it's over. Clark's done the damage. Australia win. What a performance. Three wickets and an over. 16 on the track. He hasn't gone yet. He's out, there's no doubt about that. What a test match from day one to day five. And the hero on the end is the unlikely Michael Carr. One run to win. Seagulls are flying, saluting the Australians. There it is, wonderful victory, wonderful innings. There goes Michael Hussey. Listen to the crowd. Still bowling well. Oh, was there an edge? Oh, he's knocked him over. Knocked him over. Oh, he's going up for the LBW. Siddle's on a hat trick. Oh, well, bowl is close. He's got it in. He's got it in. Peter Siddle's got a hat trick on his birthday. Got him. There it is. Wicket number 700. And they can't catch him. Shane Warne through the gate as Scott Strauss. strike now and uh, there goes uh, a drive now will he come back for the second I think he probably will Clark comes back he's going through for the second that's it magnificent Adam Gilchrist the century the second fastest in the history of test cricket Johnson on fire. 
been history between Johnson and Anderson for six or seven years in the Ashes series. Johnson just gave him the stare as he ran past. The final ball, the second day's play. It's gone for it. There it is. Great moment in the history of Australian Test cricket. Equal to Donald Bradman's tally in hundreds. It was more than that for Stephen Waugh. They stood to him when he came out. They're standing when he's going off and he's not out. Not out 102. What a moment. Get in store and grab your 4X Gold Cricket Edition cans.